Mainstream comics are failing, and they have been for years now. Great creators have been pushed away due to their political opinions, they're giving us bottom-of-the-barrel content, and customers are moving to other similar forms of content like manga. But now Mark Miller has come out claiming the comic book industry is in the worst state it's ever been, suggesting only comic book legends can save DC and Marvel at this point. But before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media so you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and live streams I create, consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So I wanted to start off with this Bounding Into Comics article. It says that comic book writer Mark Miller, known for his Superman Red Sun, Civil War Wanted, and Kingsman stories, recently poised that the comic book industry is in the worst state it's ever been in and proceeded to share his ideas on how to save it. Now, I don't think that uh, it takes, you know, a lot of effort to come to the realization that the comic book industry is failing, at least the mainstream comic book industry. We have seen so many amazing creatives been pushed out of companies like Marvel and DC because of their political opinions, because they have gotten cancelled. We have seen so many awful individuals who are just terrible at their jobs be put into higher positions at these companies. And the quality of stories is just not there anymore. And I would love for the comic book industry to be rejuvenated for it to save itself because there are so many characters and stories that I have loved throughout my life. Um, but I just don't see that happening anytime soon, if at all. And Mark Miller apparently does not either. It says during an appearance on a podcast, Miller confirmed his previously announced return to DC for a Superman story and then quickly segued into poising his idea that at least 20 comic book legends should return to both DC and Marvel to do at minimum two year runs in order to save the comic book industry. Now, we have seen this happening in Hollywood recently, um, even with comic book films. They are trying to bring in very nostalgic, well known actors. They're trying to bring them back into the fray because they think it is going to save these these films that are failing without them. I mean, just look at The Flash with, you know, uh, the Batmans that we saw and specifically Michael Keaton. Everyone was so excited for that, but The Flash still ultimately failed because you had other actors that people were not happy with. The state of, you know, the DCEU in general is a clusterfuck and people are upset with that. Um, but, Yes, I do think that if they brought back Legends, it could help things. I don't necessarily think that it would be a magic save, because if those 20 comic book Legends return, write things, and then leave, the shit people are still going to be there. But I do think that it would boost sales, and maybe if they saw this massive boost in sales, they would feel more confident about bringing back the big guns, bringing back these people who they know have sold in the past, seeing them be able to do it again. It says, there's something weird going on right now where I really feel like the guys like me and guys who have worked in the industry for a while uh, and been very lucky had a lot of big books and everything we've got to man the stations. I think everybody's got to come in and do a couple of projects and find an artist who's as good as you possibly can get and just do some killer run on something. But it's also not cut and dry because just bringing back 20 guys isn't enough. It's also about what those 20 guys are writing. We would need Marvel and DC to let them write whatever they wanted. They've just got to be let loose and write in the same style and the same content when they were all at their height, when their, you know, best runs were out. And I don't see that happening. Knowing the industry today, they'd bring them back, but say, oh, you need to include this theme or that type of narrative, and then it would be pointless. It's not just about bringing them back, but giving them the freedom to do what they think will sell. And I don't see either of these companies allowing them to do whatever they want.
As for why he believes these comic book legends should return, he explained that it's because the industry is in the worst state that it's ever been in. The retailers, they're struggling out there, they're dying. All of my friends and retailers are saying it's never been. They've never known it as hard as this. And I do talk about the comic industry quite a bit, and usually I'm talking about it in comparison to manga, because while mainstream comics have been dying, manga has been thriving. People are sick and tired of buying comic books from Marvel and DC and having them be filled to the brim with political messaging. Seeing the amount of content you are getting for the price is also a turnoff to people when they can go, I can get just a genuinely better product somewhere else. This is an article that I had referenced a couple months ago, but it says why Japanese manga is outselling American comic books in the West. And I love a good comic book, do not get me wrong, but even I have shifted heavily to supporting Japanese manga. It is just better and one of the major reasons are political narratives. I do not want that constantly shoved in my face when I am reading a book or I am just watching a movie. It's a big reason why for me the MCU has kind of fell off, why the DCEQ has kind of fell off. I am sick and tired of seeing constantly uh, narratives that are being shoved into our faces and many other people agree. Then you also have to bring in and consider the fact that, you know, manga, you're getting much more content for the money. Uh, there's There are a lot of factors, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that there's only one, but there are a few major reasons here. As you can see, this article has a list of reasons. The first on the list being Japanese manga offers better prices and customer convenience. Many new sources state that Japanese manga has been selling incredibly well in the West within the last few years. My titles such as My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, and Jujutsu Kaisen are all appearing on bestseller lists with impressive regularity. Clearly, manga is more mainstream and popular than ever, and on the practical side of things, it may be because of prices and shopping venues. As some fans have argued online, it's simply more budget-friendly to get into manga than American comics, especially when comparing the page count of a product to the sticker price. Manga volumes typically have around 160 to 180 pages and usually cost 10 to $12, an excellent ratio for any consumer, even if those pages are in black and white, as opposed to richly colored Marvel and DC comics, that sheer value is tough to beat, which I, of course, completely agree with. It also says Japanese manga has a low barrier to entry for new readers. Uh, I mean, there's a slew of different reasons here, but I do think that, yes, we are seeing Japanese manga outselling American comic books in the West, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. These companies would have to do a complete 180, a complete rehaul of, of their business plan going forward because they have not been giving us what we want. Headed back to the original article, though, he further elaborated on his idea to bring comic book legends back, and he was like, let's get a few people together, and we can do a uh, Captain America and a Wolverine run or something. Everybody's got to come back in two runs, you know, and if 20 big writer named writers and 20 big name artists do that, you've got an amazing couple of years of comic books. We need to get something like that going again. You want to see some excitement at Marvel and DC again, I think. Think, and that's, you know, what everybody needs. That's what everybody wants. And I completely agree with that. I would love for comics to thrive again, but there's just no reason at this point to support the mainstream industry. You can support indies all you want. You can support, you know, the underdogs, which I do. I love. I completely agree with, but I have not supported Marvel or DC directly in years at this point. There will be the occasional book that I pick up, but I don't buy anything new from them. I don't buy anything directly from them because they are just not producing content that I want to, you know, put my money towards, that I want to support. I know a lot of you feel this way as well. They might have some amazing characters and amazing previous lineups, but what they are making now just isn't cutting it. It is just not good enough, and I do completely agree with Mark when he says the comic book industry is in the worst state that it's ever been in, and I do think if they brought some comic book legends uh, back to Marvel or DC, it would, it would, you know, create a lot of interest. It would create a lot of buzz, but ultimately I think it would be very hard to bring the mainstream industry back to what it was 
But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.